Snestrunk. When talking about Robocop vs. Terminator for the Super Nintendo, the first thing you have to mention is the box. The game was sold with this hard plastic outer shell with the title embossed onto it. It really looked cool as hell. No other game had anything like this, and yeah, ultimately it's just a meaningless prop, but seeing the box as a 9 year old kid, this shouted to me, you have to play this badass game, and it definitely fits a motif as cool as Robocop vs. Terminator. As for the game itself, it's okay-ish, it's functional, certainly nothing spectacular. The game is actually based off a comic miniseries written by Frank Miller. The story, in the Super Nintendo version anyway, goes back to when Cyberdyne of the Terminator universe is looking to create Skynet, you know, the supercomputer that eventually becomes self-aware. Well, the nuts and bolts of that technology were apparently based on the principles behind what created Robocop. So the human resistance fighting Skynet finds a way to go back in time again, not to find John Connor, but to find Robocop and destroy him. Skynet of course gets wind of this and sends their own force back. Robocop, meanwhile, is completely oblivious to all this background. He just has his own agenda and his own sense of duty. However, Skynet is one step ahead of him. When Robocop tries to interface with his police headquarters computer to find out what's really going on, Skynet has already infiltrated it, and as a result, Robocop's human side is killed. He somehow survives, however, and rebuilds himself, and dedicates his new mission to destroy Skynet. So yeah, to sum up very quickly, you play as Robocop, and the Terminators are bad guys. So there you go. I really like this story here, but the problem the problem is is how it's told in the game with these very slow single screen scenes that are sort of presented like a comic book, but there's not nearly enough text to explain what's really happening. I had to consult the instruction book to get the gist of the story. The pixel art here is also just kind of goofy looking. You gotta love this guy's bowl cut. For the actual gameplay here, you've got a 2D side scroller where Robocop can shoot in 8 directions with all sorts of weapons he can pick up throughout the game. Get far enough into the game and eventually there are these first person mode 7 shooting levels. There is platform here though, and it can take a while to get used to how Robocop handles. I will say I do like how heavy he feels. You really feel the weight when he jumps and falls. It just feels like the way it should. I mean, it'd be kind of weird if Robocop were jumping around all over the place like Mario, right? But that said, the battles are just... I mean, there's not much left to the imagination here. It's just a battle of attrition, and as a result, the gameplay gets kind of boring. You just stand there and shoot. There's no energy here. Like when you're fighting a Terminator here, you just sit there. The Terminator falls, it gets back up, you shoot it again, over and over and over. You eventually just have to knock the stupid thing off ledges so it gets out of your way. Maybe I've been spoiled by games like Contra 3 and Super Turrican, but the action here just feels kind of tepid. The most disappointing part of the game, however, might be the music. It just sucks. It's dull and plodding, totally unmemorable, and it doesn't fit the game at all. I really think this is a case where the Genesis version of Robocop vs. Terminator is better than the Super Nintendo version. That game at least has some energy to it. The music and sound design are way, way better. And and it's just more satisfying to play because everything is faster and more intense. There's no cutscenes in this version either, everything is laid out in one big text block at the beginning of the game. I will say, both games do have similar level designs with the same frustrating pitfalls. It can be annoying trying to figure out where to go in these huge levels, and as a result, the enemy respawning really gets irritating after a while. So yeah, Robocop vs Terminator is a cool idea for a game with a unique story, but it's just not all that good on Super Nintendo. I mean, it's fine. The number of weapons and being able to shoot in 8 directions is cool, the overall look of the game is nice, but the music is downright bad, and the gameplay can get very tedious. The Genesis game is better because, well, it just seems like Genesis does run and gun games like this better than Super Nintendo. Just look at Gunstar Heroes and Alien Soldier. So yeah, I'd avoid this game on the SNES unless you're a collector and you want to pick up that badass box, but I would say it is worth checking out on the Genesis. 